Hi, Kim Morrison here, creator and founder of 28. Well, it's a super exciting week, celebrating some of the most incredibly beautiful and special souls on the planet, mothers. You know, it's incredible. I was just reading a blog by a beautiful woman, Dr. Christiane Northrup, who I love to follow. And she was talking about the fact that whenever you're having quiet, contemplative moments or when you're sitting there or if you're at a workshop or you're reading something new or you're studying or just feeling contemplative and reflective, then she did something and she suggested that we do the same, that you invite your foremothers into the room on a soul level with you. It kind of made me start to thinking, who are my foremothers? So last week I emailed and texted my mum and said, gosh, I know my grandmother's name, but I have no idea who is beyond my grandmother. And she didn't know who was beyond her grandmother. But it was pretty cool to find out that I have Millicent, my great-grandmother, Myrtle, my grandmother, my mother Anne and me, and now my daughter. And I just think even those five generations, just knowing that there's five of us in that line, that lineage, to hopefully carry on not only their strong, independent, courageous personalities and certainly the way that they've taught me how to lead from example and, and being the best that I can be. Even though I lost my grandmother and great-grandmother at very, very young ages, um, it is a great privilege to know that I still have my mum and more importantly too for me that I am a good mum to my beautiful daughter. On the weekend I celebrated with my gorgeous girl, my 17-year-old daughter, her year 12 formal and oh my gosh what an experience i had no idea what it was going to be like but to see her and her beautiful friends dressed to the nines i mean it was really just as big an occasion i would suggest as a wedding but to watch these young women and these young men and look at them and look into their eyes and see the excitement and the the hope for their futures was just awe inspiring I did have a girlfriend say, would you want to go back there? And you know what, I, lo I have loved my life. I would love to go back and do it all again. And then I think of all the pains, the challenges, and all the things that we've endured. And maybe, maybe I wouldn't want to go back and do all of that again. But really this week, I really wanted to celebrate and honor all of you mums out there. And really all of you grandmothers, aunties, all the roles that we women play. But particularly for being the example for what our younger generation can see. My counsellor, my therapist, my beautiful friend Jacqueline always said to me, you know, even when you're going through rough times, Kim, it's not that you have to hide it from your children, but certainly you can be the example on how to get through tough times. So don't ever give up on showing your truth, showing who you are, but also realising that you can get up and out of these places just by showing them how to be. And often for me that just really lifts me up and out of any sort of pity party or feeling of not good enough and I realise that we all go through these emotions and it's more important than ever to step up in, into the truth of what it means to be a mum. Now I know for some of you you're not mums and some of you can't be mums but I'm going to put this to you. Until you become a mum or if you ever even don't become one, you are what we call our earth mothers and you are here to support, nourish, guide and help us all to thrive and trust me that role is just as important. So I want to know what you're doing this weekend. Place a note underneath this video and say what you're doing for your mum or hopefully what's going to happen for you. What's your dream? What's your dream weekend? I know I keep hearing many people say how much they'd love a sleep in, an uninterrupted hand, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and they also would love to know that they could just have a tiara put on their heads to acknowledge and honour all the things that they've done well, but also to appreciate that whilst we make mistakes, if there are mistakes, even if you think of it in that way, that to acknowledging those mistakes or those challenges are also part of what makes us who we are. So to you mummies, I hope you're going to get some time out this weekend. I really hope you get to enjoy, reflect and look back on the incredible role you've taken to this date. And also to those of you who are newborn mums for the first time, congratulations. I think you'll agree, life is never ever the same once you become a mum. So I want to see those of you that are carrying on our tradition for the month of May, who's had a beautiful facial this week. I really put it out there to challenge you all to make sure you do that beautiful clay treatment mask. So what's my oil this week? Well I decided that without a doubt I think us mummies deserve some instant calm. It is 28's number one selling oil. It is the oil for helping keep peace, calm, 
beautiful, nurturing, nourishing and quiet time. It's also the oil for helping reduce anxiety and worries. And trust me, with my daughter getting her license this week, I know there's another phase I'm heading into as well, and that is trusting and letting my little girl go. Oh, you know, it's quite hard to imagine that you've had this baby in your tummy, that you've brought them up, and now as they enter into their 18th year, you realise there's a part of you that has to let them go. Oh, and on that note, I wish my daughter the most amazing, incredible life ahead. And I hope that from this time on, from the moment that she realised I was her mum, that she can proudly stand there and say that hopefully I've done a good job. <laughs> now you can see why I wanted the instant calm. It's an incredible time of our lives, isn't it? Watching our children grow. And I hope that my son even though I'm not obviously a, a male figure for him, that I have hopefully taught him to respect, revere and treasure the women in his life. So on that note, happy Mother's Day. Have a facial. <laughs> Go and treat yourselves and use that gorgeous instant calm. I hope you enjoy the recipe this week and I hope that you know our special Mother's Day gift packs are certainly available. For those of you that buy anything online with us at 28, you will all go into the draw for the $150 gift voucher. So I really hope sincerely from the bottom of my heart that you get to win it. On behalf of all mummies out there and my beautiful lineage of Anne, Myrtle and Millicent, I wish you all a beautiful, happy, gorgeous Mother's Day. Be kind, take care.